natural resources, minerals, energy, plants and wildlife. The economic development of a country largely depends upon its capacity to use and convert its natural resources into useful goods. Minerals and power resources are important natural resources which provide the basis for industrial development of a country. The natural growth of all types of plant life is termed as natural vegetation. The vegetation of different parts of the world is affected by the amount of sunlight and the amount of rainfall. Study at a glance Mineral resources, energy resources, plant and wildlife resources, forest types and wildlife resources. Mineral resources. In our own surroundings, we can find many mineral products like utensil, nails, wires, machines, jewellery and television. All these have been made of some kind of mineral. What are minerals? Minerals are the natural substances having definite chemical composition and physical properties. Color and hardness are examples of physical properties like coal is black or brown, quartz may be red, black, pink or purple. Similarly, a mineral may be as soft as a talc and can be as hard as a diamond. Solubility is a chemical property of minerals. Example, salt is soluble while quartz is insoluble. Classification of minerals. Here, we will study the classification of minerals based on its physical and chemical characteristics, use and origin. They are Metallic and non-metallic minerals. Metallic minerals. Metallic minerals are those minerals which have metals. Example, iron ore, cobalt, chromite, gold, silver, etc. Non-metallic minerals. Non-metallic minerals are those minerals which do not have metals. Example, limestone, nitrate, potash, dolomite, mica, gypsum, coal, petroleum, etc. Now, we will study metallic and non-metallic minerals in detail by examining its differences. Metallic minerals have luster. Non-metallic minerals are dull in luster. Metallic minerals are mostly associated with igneous and metamorphic rocks. Example, iron ore, copper, zinc, bauxite, lead, silver, gold, etc. Non-metallic minerals are mostly associated with sedimentary or metamorphic rocks. Example, granite, coal, sulfur, petroleum, salt, etc. Metallic minerals are ductile. Non-metallic minerals are not ductile. Thin wires can be drawn out of metallic minerals. Wires cannot be drawn out of non-metallic minerals. They break into pieces if any hard substance is struck against them. Metallic minerals are generally solid and heavy. Non-metallic minerals are neither solid nor heavy. Some of them are found in the liquid 
as well as gaseous state also. Do you know metallic minerals can be subdivided into two categories? Ferrous and non-ferrous minerals. Ferrous minerals are iron-based minerals. Example, iron ore. Distribution of minerals. Do you know where these minerals are found? Minerals are found on the earth's surface which is closely associated with the type of rocks and the underlying structure of a region. Many important minerals are found as ores in the form of narrow veins in igneous or metamorphic rocks like gold, silver, etc. Certain minerals like gold and diamond may occur as alluvial deposits in the sands and gravels of river beds. Weathered and eroded rock particles containing the minerals are removed and carried by rivers which get deposited in the river beds. These are called placer deposits. Important minerals and their distribution. Do you know which are the important minerals used in a large number of industries? Iron ore, copper and bauxite are used in a large number of industries. Iron, it is the most widely used metal. It is taken as the symbol of modern civilization. It is used for making machine tools, machines, various means of transport, etc. There are different types of iron ores. Example, hematite and magnetite. Location, World, Ukraine, Kazakhstan, USA, China, India, Brazil, France, Germany, South Africa, etc. In India, Jharkhand, Orissa, Chhattisgarh and Madhya Pradesh. Copper. It is used largely in electrical industries because of its quality of electrical conductivity. Location. World. Chile. USA. Canada. Poland. Russia. Georgia. Armenia. Congo and Zambia. In India, Jharkhand and Rajasthan. Bauxite. It is an ore from which aluminium is extracted. It is used for making aeroplanes, machine tools, utensils, packaging, construction and electrical materials. Extraction of minerals. Minerals can be extracted by mining, drilling or quarrying. The process of taking out minerals from rocks buried under the earth's surface is called mining. Minerals that lie at shallow depths are taken out by removing the surface layer. This is known as open cast mining. Deep bores called shafts have to be made to reach mineral deposits that lie at great depths. This is called shaft mining. Petroleum and natural gas occur far below the earth's surface. Deep wells are bored to take them out. This is called drilling. Minerals that lie near the surface are simply dug out by the process known as quarrying. Uses of minerals. Minerals are used in many industries. Minerals which are used for gems are usually hard. These are then set in various styles for jewellery. Copper is another metal used in everything from coins to pipes. Silicon used in the computer industry is obtained from quartz. Aluminium obtained from its ore bauxite is used in automobiles and airplanes, bottling industry, buildings and even in kitchen cookware. 
conservation of minerals minerals are a non renewable resource it takes thousands of years for the formation and concentration of minerals the rate of formation is much smaller than the rate at which the humans consume these minerals it is necessary to reduce wastage in the process of mining recycling of metals is another way in which the mineral resources can be conserved plant and wildlife resources do you know which are the spheres of the earth lithosphere hydrosphere atmosphere and biosphere among these spheres biosphere is the narrow sphere where life exists a variety of organisms exist in a thin zone of contact between lithosphere hydrosphere and the atmosphere called biosphere these organisms of the biosphere are broadly divided into plants animals and microbes how does plant resource become the backbone of our natural resources plant kingdom obtains energy from the sun it provides energy to animal kingdom in the form of food thus plant kingdom in other words the flora became the backbone of our natural resources plant resources provided stage for the appearance of another kind of life in the form of animals leading to the evolution of animal kingdom plants flora and animals fauna are complementary to each other without considering one the existence of another is meaningless energy resources energy is the capacity to do work do you know how we can obtain energy we can obtain energy in three basic ways one direct heating such as by fire the sun and natural hot spring two electricity which is produced from more direct sources such as by burning fossil fuels and three stored energy in the form of a battery which are the sources through which electricity is produced electricity is produced from large power plants thermal or heat plants burn coal or natural gas nuclear plants use nuclear fuel such as uranium thorium etc hydroelectric power plants use the force of falling water besides these large power plants there are smaller power plants using geothermal sources solar sources and wind source do you know how electricity is transmitted to far off places electricity thus produced is transmitted through a network of power lines called a grid to far off places and reaches houses shops and factories sources of energy resources what is the difference between conventional and non conventional sources of energy conventional sources of energy they have been in use from time immemorial they except water are exhaustible they cause pollution when used as they emit smoke and ash power generated from these resources is very expensive to be maintained stored and transmitted as it is carried over large distances through transmission grid and lines examples coal mineral oil natural gas atomic minerals water etc 
non conventional sources of energy they have been identified in the recent past they are inexhaustible they do not cause pollution small amount of finance is required for the use in generation of power examples geothermal energy solar energy wind energy and energy from urban wastes biomass electricity do you know from where we get electricity we all get electricity through different sources in india electricity comes from three sources water mineral fuels and atomic minerals apart from these sources there are alternative sources of energy they are geothermal wind energy solar energy nuclear energy and tidal energy now we will study these sources of energy in detail hydroelectricity hydroelectricity is obtained by running water which drives turbines the force of falling water which is used for generating electricity is called hydroelectricity major hydel power projects commonly known as river valley or multi power projects in the world are located in the countries like sweden norway switzerland canada and the usa major river valley projects in india are bhakra nang plant and wildlife resources do you know which are the spheres of the earth lithosphere hydrosphere atmosphere and biosphere among these spheres biosphere is the narrow sphere where life exists a variety of organisms exist in a thin zone of contact between lithosphere hydrosphere and the atmosphere called biosphere these organisms of the biosphere are broadly divided into plants animals and microbes how does plant resource become the backbone of our natural resources plant kingdom obtains energy from the sun it provides energy to animal kingdom in the form of food thus plant kingdom in other words the flora became the backbone of our natural resources plant resources provided stage for the appearance of another kind of life in the form of animals leading to the evolution of animal kingdom plants flora and animals fauna are complementary to each other without considering one the existence of another is meaningless factors influencing plants and wildlife resources what can be the factors that influence plants and wildlife resources the physical environment influences the type of organisms living in an area for example plants and animals found on land and in water are totally different similarly climatic conditions also bring about variations in the types of plants and animals found in different regions plants are rooted to the soil and hence they cannot move they make physiological adjustments to seasonal changes when compared to plants animals are able to move from place to place so they stand better chance of survival annual migration of birds and animals is a common feature in many parts of the world 
birds fly thousands of kilometers to escape the freezing cold during winter. They go back to their homes before the beginning of summer. It is understood that climate is the most important factor that influences plant and animal resources. Forest types Forests make the bulk of our natural vegetation. Forests are found from the equator to the areas beyond 60 degrees north and south. But the types of trees found in these forests vary depending upon the range of temperature. Forests are classified broadly into evergreen and deciduous forests. Evergreen forests. Trees in these forests do not shed their leaves simultaneously during any season of the year. Evergreen forests may also be grouped into tropical evergreen forests, mid-latitude evergreen forests, Mediterranean and coniferous forests. Tropical evergreen forests. Let us cite some important features of tropical evergreen forests. These forests are found in the areas of heavy rainfall and abundant sunshine. Hot and humid conditions favor luxuriant growth of a variety of vegetation. Trees have broad leaves to permit transpiration of surplus moisture. These forests consist of hardwood species and are evergreen. Important species are bamboo, cinchona, rubber, ebony, mahogany, sandalwood and rosewood. Tropical evergreen forests are available in Amazon Basin, Zaire Basin, Malaysia, Myanmar, Kampuchea, Vietnam, Indonesia and New Guinea. Mid-Latitude Evergreen Forests These forests are found on the eastern margins of continents. These forests contain hardwood trees with broad leaves. Oak, eucalyptus and wattle are some economically important trees of these forests. South China, Southeastern USA, South Brazil, East Coast of South Africa and Southeastern Australia have such forests. Mediterranean Forests This type of vegetation is found largely in the areas around the Mediterranean Sea like Italy, Spain, South France, Greece, California and Southern Africa. Trees are adapted to seasonal changes in temperature. They withstand the dry summer without shedding their leaves. Plants therefore have spiny, waxy and small leaves to reduce transpiration. Deciduous forests Deciduous forests are those in which trees shed their leaves in a particular season in order to conserve loss of moisture through transpiration. Tropical Deciduous Let us understand some important features of tropical deciduous forest. These forests are found in subtropical regions with a distinct dry season. Trees shed their leaves during summer. These forests are comparatively less dense than tropical evergreen forests. Teak, Sal, Shisham, Neem and Mango trees are the main species of trees grown here. Monsoon Asia, parts of Central America, Brazil 
and northern Australia have such forests. Mid-latitude deciduous. These forests occur in the coastal temperate regions. Western Europe, northeastern China, Japan, northeastern USA, New Zealand and southern Chile have such forests. Trees shed their leaves in winter to protect themselves from cold because during winter temperature in these areas falls below 6 degrees Celsius. Birch, ash and oak are some of the important trees of these forests. Uses of forests Forest resources can be used for different purposes. Commercial utilization of temperate evergreen and coniferous forests is very high. Norway, Sweden, Finland and Canada are important exporters of several forest products such as paper, wood pulp and newsprint. In India and other monsoon countries of South and Southeast Asia, Rosewood, sandalwood, teak and mahogany are the important species which have been used economically to a large extent. Forests protect animals from wind, rain, storms, cold, heat and also prevents soil erosion. They provide fruits, food products, wood, timber and industrial products. Wildlife resources Animals, birds and other organisms which live in a natural habitat are termed as wildlife. All the living organisms in the biosphere are interdependent and they are a part of the food chain. Conservation of Wildlife Why does wildlife need to be conserved? Wildlife plays an important role in an ecosystem and the substance of life on the earth. Many species of animals and plants have great use to man. Besides, they maintain the ecological balance. Hence, it is necessary to conserve the wildlife. There are different steps for conservation of wildlife. They are Establishment of national parks and wildlife sanctuaries Legal protection of wildlife and endangered species Each and every attempt should be made to conserve the endangered species. Threatened species should be restored by providing suitable environmental conditions and increasing reproductive capacity of those species. Habitats should be safeguarded. Conservation of forests. Why is it important to conserve forests? Forests play a very important role in the life and economy of a nation. The increasing destruction and degradation of forest areas lead to heavy erosion of the topsoil, erratic rainfall and reoccurring floods. Due to these reasons, it is important to conserve forests. Now, let us list some important measures for conservation of forests. Diversion of forest lands for other purposes have to be prevented. Reckless cutting of forests needs to be checked. Steps have to be taken to stop shifting practice of cultivation. Forest fire is another cause of forest depletion which needs to be controlled effectively. Afforestation has to be taken up effectively. 
fossil fuels. Why are coal, mineral oil and natural gas called fossil fuels? Because of their organic origin, these are called fossil fuels. They are produced from plant and animal materials and are forms of stored solar energy. How are fossils formed? Fossils are formed by the decomposition of marine creatures, minute plants and animals, buried and sedimented for millions of years. Here we will study how large deposits of oil and gas are formed. Under the presence of overlying rocks, the oil and gas are squeezed out of the source rocks. They move up through available spaces. However, if they are trapped beneath a layer of impermeable rock, oil or gas deposits are formed. The rocks that contain large deposits of oil and gas are called reservoir rocks. There is a possibility that the alternative sources of energy might replace fossil fuels in future. The alternative sources of energy are hydropower, geothermal, nuclear, solar and wind power. Distribution of fossil fuels We can list out some widely used fossil fuels. Coal, mineral oil, natural gas, petrol, kerosene, etc. Coal Coal, which is a conventional source of energy, is found as one of the layers or seams in the sedimentary rocks. The thickness of the coal seams depends upon the nature of the plant cover. The quality of coal depends upon the depth, pressure and heat which the buried plant cover was subjected to. The coal which we are using today is formed millions of years ago when giant ferns and swamps got buried under the layers of earth. Coal is therefore referred to as buried sunshine. Coal is of four types. They are anthracite which contains more than 80% carbon. Bituminous contains 60 to 80% carbon. Lignite contains 50 to 60% of carbon contents. Peat contains less than 50% of carbon. Coal World Distribution Russia, USA, China, Australia, parts of Western Europe, South Africa and India. In India, Gondwana Coal Deposits located in Damodar Valley, Jharkhand and West Bengal. Important coal fields are Jharia, Rani Ganj, Bokaro. Other coal fields are Godavri, Mahanadi, Sun and Vardha Valleys. Tertiary coal deposits are located in northeastern states. Meghalaya, Assam, Arunachal Pradesh and Nagaland. Mineral Oil World Distribution Saudi Arabia Russia Venezuela Mexico Libya Nigeria UK Norway Denmark Germany and the Netherlands Summary Minerals and power resources provide the basis for industrial development. Minerals are of two types, metallic and non-metallic. 
some important metallic minerals are iron, copper, bauxite, manganese, gold, uranium, thorium, etc. The non-metallic resources are coal, petroleum, natural gas, etc. Some non-conventional resources of energy are solar, wind, tidal and geothermal energy and some conventional sources of energy are coal, mineral oil, natural gas, atomic minerals, water, etc. India is rich in minerals and power resources. Minerals and power resources play a dominant role in our lives and these resources take a very long time to be renewed. So, we should use these resources judiciously, keeping the future generations in mind. The natural growth of plant life is natural vegetation. The amount of sunlight and rainfall received affects the growth of plant life. There are different types of natural vegetation in the world. The natural vegetation and forest cover needs to be protected. Animals, birds and the organisms living in a natural habitat are termed as wildlife. Cutting down of forest area has created risk to wildlife. If this is not checked, wildlife may decrease or may even perish.